sister gua showing my face because I cry a lot. <laughs> and I guess when I cry a lot, my eye bags get really puffy. So, I don't know. I never showed my bare face on camera like this before, but I'm trying not to care. I'm really going with the document, not create approach, which has helped me pump out content on a daily on Instagram and TikTok. So I'm really trying to translate that behavior to my YouTube because I really want to post more on here for you guys. Right now I'm using Melixir Vitamin C Hydration Cream. Oh yeah, and a lot of you guys who uh, request bedroom tours, I'm in my bedroom right now, but I'm not gonna give a tour yet because behind me is a bunch of junk. I'm trying to cover it with my body, but I think some of it is revealing. <laughs> Now that my makeup is complete and I am all ready, I just have a lot more energy to start the day. Today's outfit is this cozy sweater and these beige leggings, which are super cute and comfortable. I wish I had an avocado because I would totally eat this with an avocado. But they are not ripe yet. They take forever to ripe. <laughs> So ever since I started this whole be more authentic, show more of myself journey on my Instagram and YouTube and stuff, my engagement has increased so much. So last night I was feeling really reminiscent and I posted a few Instagram stories. So in this one, and I'll link a picture over here too, I showed my desk setup from August 23rd and I just feel very nostalgic because at this time, this desk was my first like big purchase on my own and I was very happy about it and that desk gave me so much happiness and just joy and I didn't even have an office chair I just had a regular chair and I wrote my desk setup before I started this content creation journey this was during my life at a simpler time a happier and peaceful time in some ways and I also showed my first keyboard, which is the pastel keyboard that I showed in earlier YouTube videos. 
Man, just looking back on those old pictures makes me feel very nostalgic because that was before any of this content creation stuff happened. I still remember I made my first purchase and it was the Floyd table. And I fell in love with that table. All the pictures I saw of it online made me feel so like peaceful and calm and I just really, really wanted it. So then when I got my first job and we started working remotely because of quarantine and COVID, I made the decision to invest in this desk that would last me a lifetime. Eventually, I bought my first office chair too, which was the steel case gesture. They were definitely expensive purchases, but my mindset was, what is something I wanna buy and invest my money in that will last me a lifetime and will make me really happy? So this is actually my Fuji X-T2 and the one I'm recording with right now is the X-T4 and I made the switch a few months ago because it was on sale because it's really hard for me to film vlogs on this camera because it easily overheats and it has an overheating issue so it shuts off every 7 minutes but it's still a great camera and I got this camera in 2017 and I still remember I went to China and Japan and it was my first time in Asia and I really wanted to make cinematic travel vlogs. So I took this camera to Japan and China. So I really wanted to make 4K resolution travel vlogs. And I remember being inspired by so many travel vloggers at the time. One of them is Sam Colder. I remember being so inspired by the cinematography and how they got to travel the world. And in that time of my life, I was in a very self-discovery period. And I really wanted to do that too. And I just felt this desire to be a content creator and to use my passion in photography to just like make a living for myself that was just like so cool but i didn't know how i was gonna get there i don't care that it's not christmas i really like the ambient lighting <laughs> i still have all of my japan and china footage from 2017 it's all shaky the stabilization is not good so so i was walking all over china and japan and taking videos and pictures and when I came home and I looked at the content it was like it was so shaky and not even usable footage but after that I got so discouraged because my footage didn't come out that good but looking back I should have still posted on YouTube because like I should have just took the risk you know but I didn't because my footage wasn't perfect but yeah, looking back, I regret that. I wish that I took the risk because who knows where I would have been now. I would have been completely different maybe. So yeah, if you're ever wondering, like I tried to create something and then the footage came out terrible, so I'm not gonna post it. Just post it, just do it because a few years from now, you're gonna look back and you're gonna be like, dang, like I should have done that. Like, but you'll never know unless you try, so. So anyway, the reason why I took my camera out is because I wanted to take some photos of my keyboard to share with you guys on Instagram. And I just got something in the mail, which are new artisans from my buddies at Jelly Key. It's not sponsored by them. They are just really talented artists and I love supporting small businesses. I'm gonna show you what I got in the mail and also take some really aesthetic pictures. in these cute boxes alrighty I am so excited to take a look these are so cute and pretty oh my god these are so beautiful so these are the keycaps that they sent over and they are so pretty. They are the Koi Pond 4 collection and 
The attention to detail in these is so superb. I feel like they're little jellies. Kind of fits the name though, Jelly Key. A lot of you guys asked me if the spray painted keycaps, if they've survived. They have survived and they feel completely normal, but I am still really careful and I don't want to break them. Wow, so pretty. All right, this one, where does this one fit? This one fits down there. Oops. This one actually fits on my sister's keyboard more because of the color. So let me get her keyboard. So this is actually my sister's keyboard. So my keyboard actually fits my plant aesthetic and nature and it has like all my favorite warm and cozy colors. But my sister's keyboard is more cutesy and has these jelly keycaps and her space bar is also from Jelly Key, but I'm gonna put this on now. So where does this fit? Maybe it fits here. No, this is still too small. Cause I don't wanna put it here cause it's right next to the space bar. Yay, super cute. And this one is the one that I just installed on my sister's keyboard. This is the Koi Pond 4 and they're super cute. I will be posting pictures of them on my Instagram today. So I just spent some time creating a mood board. If you don't know what mood boarding is, mood boarding is the first step I always take before designing and creating something. So before diving into a design, I like to mood board to get a feel for what it is that I'm creating. So when I mood board, I pull in images from all of my sources of inspiration and I also jot down ideas. It really helps to get a sense of what brand you're trying to create. 
So I want to take the time to give a quick shout out to the sponsor of this portion of the video, Milanote. Milanote is my favorite app for mood boarding and it is always the app that I use right before designing. So if you have a bunch of ideas and you need a place to organize them, pull in different sources of inspiration and jot down notes, Milanote is the perfect tool. I use Milanote for all of my creative projects. So yeah, if you want to check out Milanote, I'll leave the link to them in the description and you can try them out for free. So let me just show you the mood board that I created for one of the projects that I'm working on. As you know, I'm always creating stuff and making new creative projects and this project I'm really excited about. So this is the mood board that I just created on Milanote. It's just like an amazing tool that I use to create mood boards. So one of the creative projects I'm working on is actually creating cozy candles and yes, there's writing on it because we were experimenting the scents and the waxes to use. This doesn't look aesthetic, but that's why we are mood boarding. So with this mood board, I am trying to get a feel for the branding that I'm trying to create. And as you can see, I pulled in a bunch of images and also my sister's illustrations of her little fruit chubs. So we're thinking of calling our brand Cozy Chubs. And one of the first products that we're going to create are Cozy Chub Candles. And we're thinking of making these candles branded after her fruit characters. She just released her fruit characters as digital stickers, which is really fun. Fun. These are some of her fruit characters and they're super cute and they have a lot of personality. We're going to make a brand out of these and document the process. If you've been a viewer of my channel for a while now, you'll know that one of my first videos was creating a digital speaker modeled after my sister's orange character. Let me go grab it. So this is just a prototype, but if you remember, this was the orange speaker. So my sister 3D modeled this with my boyfriend and my boyfriend engineered the hardware inside. And this is just a prototype and a proof of concept, but basically it is a Bluetooth speaker and it doesn't work currently because we haven't used it in a long time and we didn't move forward with this project. It was just a proof of concept, but the concept was this is one of her characters and when you tap on the leaf, it played music. So it was super cool. I'll link the video in the cards if you're interested in checking it out. It didn't get a lot of views, but that's probably one of the most special videos I made because I showed the whole process and it was a lot of work, but it was just really fun to document and share the journey. But yeah, this was probably the first Cozy Chubs project we worked on and I'm really excited to start working on Cozy Chubs candles because I feel like it all fits in with the fruit brand and the cozy aesthetic. So I think I'm done with everything that I need to do today. I got a lot of mood boarding done, which is great. And I think in the next vlog, I'm going to be showing how I designed the labels for the candles. I'm really excited about this project and I think you guys are really gonna like the design. Let me know down in the comments if you'd love to see the design process and also the candle making process. I think it's going to be really fun. And I'd like to show you guys how this mood board is going to come to life and manifest itself onto our candles. So yeah, I'm gonna log off for today and spend the rest of the day relaxing.